this lecture, we will review cognitive development in infants and toddlers. In the first year, babies learn to focus their vision, reach out, explore, and learn about the things that are around them. Cognitive or brain development means the learning process of memory, language, thinking, and reasoning. Cognitive development in children begins with brain development. Early life exposures may both positively and negatively influence cognitive development in children. Infants, toddlers, and children learn best in secure, nurturing environments, and when attachment to a consistent caregiver is present. But what exactly is cognitive development in psychology? Well, cognitive development is how humans acquire, organize, and learn to use knowledge. In psychology, the focus of cognitive development has often been only on childhood. However, cognitive development continues through adolescence and adulthood. It involves acquiring language and knowledge, thinking, memory, decision-making, problem-solving, and exploration. Much of the research within cognitive development in children focuses on thinking, developing knowledge, exploring, and solving problems. Let's move on to thinking skills. Thinking concerns manipulating information and is related to reasoning, decision-making, and problem-solving. It is required to develop language because you need words to think. Cognitive development activates, helps thinking and reasoning to grow. Thinking is a skill that does not commence at birth. It develops gradually through childhood and advances more rapidly when children are around two years old. Reasoning develops around six, but by the time they're 11 years old, children's thinking become much more abstract and logical. Now, according to PositivePsychology.com, there are several cognitive development theories, some more well-known than others. Some of these approaches include the behaviorist approach, focusing on the basics of learning, the psychometric approach, where developmental and intelligence testing is the main focus, Piagetian approach, the sensory motor stages, and informational processing approach where perceptions and representations are its main focus. You have the cognitive neuroscience approach where the brain's cognitive structures are explored. And of course, social contextual approach where learning from caregivers is the main focus. Now I'm going to review two groundbreaking cognitive development theories, the Piaget's Cognitive Development Theory and Vygotsky's Theory. They attempt to explain how cognitive development occurs. Now let's review Piaget's Cognitive Development Theory first. Jean Piaget in 1936 is famous for his theory of cognition that considers four specific stages of development the sensory motor stage from birth to about two years of age is when infants build an understanding of the world through their senses and movement, such as touching, feeling, listening, and watching. This is when children develop object permanence. The pre-operational stage from two to seven years old is when language and abstract thinking arise. This is the stage of symbolic play. When a child is seven years old, they enter Piaget's concrete operational stage, which goes up to about 11 years old. This is when logical and concrete thought come into action. 
At age 11 onward, children learn logical and abstract rules and solve problems. Piaget described this as the formal operational stage. Now, in contrast to Vygotsky's theory, Lev Vygotsky described an alternate theory. He believed that children's cognitive development arises through their physical interaction with the world. Vygotsky's theory is based on the premise that the support of adults and peers enables the development of higher psychological functions. He is known as the sociocultural theorist. Now, Vygotsky believed that a child's initial social interactions prompt development. And as the child internalizes learning, this shifts their cognition to an individual level. Vygotsky considered children akin to apprentices learning from the more experienced, who understands their needs. There are two main themes of Vygotsky's theory. The zone of proximal development is described as the distance between the actual development level and the level of potential. This is determined by independent problem solving when children are collaborating with more able peers or under the guidance of an adult. This may explain why some children perform better in the presence of others who have more knowledge and skills, but more poorly on their own. These skills display in a social context, but not in an isolated setting, are within the zone of proximal development. This highlights how a more knowledgeable person can provide support to a child's cognitive development. Thinking and speech are considered essential. Vygotsky described a connected relationship between language development and the thinking process. His theory explains how younger children use speech to think out loud. Gradually, they evolve silent inner speech once mental concepts and cognitive awareness are developed.